The topic is calculating the definite integral using the Riemann sum. So let's do example two. We already did example one. We need to calculate the integral from two to four of one plus two x dx. So using the definition of the Riemann sum, we need to know first delta x. And by definition, delta x is b minus a over n. b happened to be the upper limit, which is four minus, and then a is the lower lower limit, which is 2 in this case, divided by n, so it's equal to n. So, so far, we know that delta x is equal to 2 over n. We're going to need that. Now, by definition, also, x sub i is equal a plus i times delta x, which is equal a is the lower limit, which is right here, 2, so it's 2 plus i, delta x we just found out, which is 2 over n. So, so xi is equal to 2 plus 2 over ni. Now we need to find after that f of x sub i. So to find f of x sub i, we need to know what is f of x. f of x is always this quantity, it's 1 plus 2x. So since f of x... Since f of x is 1 plus 2x, then f of xi, which means f xi is right here, 2 plus 2 over ni. So all we do is take our input and plug it into the x here. So this will be 1 plus 2 times 2 plus 2 over ni. which is equal, so f of xi is equal to 1, I'm going to distribute the 2, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 2 times 2 is 4 over ni. So this is f of xi. Now let's use a limit. Now by definition, integral from 2 to 4 of 1 plus 2x dx is equal limit as n go to infinity of the sum from i equal 1 to n of f of xi delta x, which is equal to a limit as n go to infinity of the sum from i equal 1 to n f of xi, we already found that it's right here, which is equal 1 plus 4, 5, plus 4 over ni, right? 1 plus 4 plus 2 over n. No? 1 plus 4 plus 2 times 2 is 4 over n i yet. Yeah. So, so this will be equal, f of x i is 5 plus 4 over n i. And then we need to multiply that by delta x, which is, where did we find it? Right here, 2 over n. Now all I need to do here is distribute a limit as n go to infinity. 2 over n times 5, it becomes 10 over n plus 2 times 4 is 8, n times n is n squared i. And don't forget, this is a sum from i equal 1 to n. Now I'm going to use the properties of the sum, the Riemann sum. This is going to be equal limit as n go to infinity of the sum of 10 over n from i equal 1 to n plus sum from i equal 1 to n of 8 over n squared i. Now this is a constant, it can come outside. This is equal to limit as n approach infinity of the sum of 10 over n i equal 1 to n plus 8 over n squared sum from i equal 1 to n of i. Now here we need to use two things. First, we need to know that the sum from i equal 1 to n of a constant is always equal to nc. And knowing that tells us that this is going to be equal limit as n go to infinity, so this part will be n times c 
10 over n, any expression that doesn't have an i is considered a constant. So this is a constant, this is a c, so I need to multiply it by n. So it's n times c, which is 10 over n plus 8 over n squared, and then sigma of i, i equal 1 to n, and that's just known to be n times n plus 1 over 2. So this is going to be n times n plus 1 over 2. Now I'm going to simplify this to n. So this is going to be equal limit as n goes to infinity of 10 plus. I'm going to factor, I'm going to distribute the n or 8n. So it's going to be 8n squared plus 8n and then 2 times n squared is 2n squared. Now, this is going to be equal 10 plus a limit of this. Since the degree are the same, we're always going to get 8 over 2. I mean, we know how to do that limit. That's pretty easy limit, which is equal 10 plus 4, which is equal to 14. And I'm done with this example.